All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and here we have our boy Kid Gohan from the start of the Saiyan Saga. Well, I guess that's actually not true, right? You know, this is, I don't know, Kid Gohan from, like, 10 episodes into the Saiyan Saga or something like that, um, after he goes grade 8 for the first time, right? This is good because this is, we need the Saiyan Saga category team to be fleshed out, right? They're not ready to do it just yet. But, you know, as they slowly drip feed us, you know, units from the Saiyan side, you know, we got the LR Vegeta and Nappa, we got the Prime Battle Krillin, you know, we just got another, you know, Baba Shop Awakening for Krillin, that's definitely Saiyan Saga as well. Now, this Kid Gohan comes out as well, as they keep, like, tossing random Saiyan Saga units at us, um, a lot of them free to play too, to make sure that a lot of players can get them, and then eventually, I think we are gonna be good for a Kaioken Goku and then a Great 8 Vegeta Dual Dokkan Festival. I think that is definitely something that is going to happen. I think it would sell very well. I think it would be a big success. And I think the Saiyan Saga category would work well too. Especially like if LR Piccolo gets an easy A, if LR Tien and Chaozu gets an easy A. The Saiyan Saga category I think can be better than people give it credit for. But there's a couple of other things we would need to like a Great 8 Kid Gohan, which still amazingly is not in the game. Um, all right, so of course, Rainbow Showcase, you guys already know. Let me go ahead and grind this boy's links up a little bit, um, and we will go ahead and test out this Saiyan Saga Kid Gohan. All right, guys, so we are here with this Gohan in an event. Now, I'm going to basically... Okay, I like that they released this Kid Gohan, right? Obviously, this is a character that needs to be released. We need as many options as possible for the Saiyan Saga, but... This Gohan is very, very specific, dude. Like, the, the things that he does, it's it's going to be tough for him to look good, I think, uh, quite often. So, number one, uh, keep in mind that future Gohan is giving, what, the 30% attack and defensive buff to Gohan. Because Gohan, of course, is on Master and Student uh, Bond, right? Let's see what Gohan does right here. So, he's at, wow, 820k. So... This Gohan gets 60% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets two key and 20% attack and defense at the start of each turn if there's a Piccolo on the team, which there is. So, you know, we, we had 80% attack and defense right there. Um, then he also gets super effective against all types uh, if there is a Piccolo attacking in the same turn. And then Gohan also gets 15% attack and defense with every attack received. So... There is a lot, a, there's a lot that goes into this man having his full sort of buff, right? Uh, like, it, it, there's just so many different circumstances that we have to hit. So I'm like, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and hop into one of these events where we could just sit here for a while uh, fighting one of these immortal bosses. Um, I just completely built the team around giving Gohan buffs and stuff like that to try and make him look good. But again, he's so brutally specific. I mean... I look at this Gohan, if LR Piccolo gets a monster god level EZA, which is very possible looking at the way LR Freeze's EZA is so ridiculous, right? Give an EZA of that level to LR Piccolo, and then, you know, create a Saiyan Saga category, and then maybe this Gohan, you know, maybe that, that Piccolo probably would be a majority of the power, but place this Gohan next to that Piccolo, and you might be able to have something there, right? Very, very possible. All right, so at least we're going to start to get hits in on Gohan to build up that attack and defense. He's at 85k right now. We still have several turns to go before Gohan is built up. Uh, keep in mind that this Piccolo is giving a fairly substantial 77% defensive buff to the whole rotation as well. So this this is the Piccolo I chose to use with Gohan. What links do we have with Gohan? Oh, all they have? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. I, I should have put... I, see, I want... Here's the thing. I want Gohan in the middle because, I mean, he at least would have had, what, I think Saiyan Warrior Race with future Gohan. I think they both have Saiyan Warrior Race, right? Let's see. That is that one. Yeah, they do. But obviously, it's like, oh, no, I don't want to attack Rose. Did I attack Rose? Damn it. Hold on. Let me restart because I think I started. <laughs> no! <laughs> I think I attacked Rose. Why did I do that? No. I can't attack Rose. I have to be aiming at Zamasu. I, I, th this is why this unit, it's like. Yeah, it's exciting. Like, yeah, they're they're giving us more Saiyan Saga characters because you know Saiyan Saga. You, know, you go back and watch the Saiyan. The Saiyan Saga is good. It is really good. So like, it deserves to have super high level characters like in this game. There's no reason for it not to have very very strong characters, right? Uh, in Dokkan, but 
it's just right now we're not really seeing so much of that implemented, right? Dragon Ball Saga, Saiyan Saga, Frieza Saga, don't get much love. Even Android Saga barely gets love. Uh, one million attack stack right there, okay. Yeah, so not the greatest. I mean, that's, you know, Future Gohan is still on rotation, giving 30% attack and defense, too. It's just like... I mean, the nature of free-to-play units has changed, too, with that LR Frieza existing. Now, I know a, a lot has got to be done in order for that Frieza to sort of be at that level, sure. But you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, here, let's just keep attacking this Zamasu right here. Um, we'll, we'll just keep pounding in on him. All right, so next turn, Gohan is going to be at 60% attack and defense. So there's still two turns until Gohan has sort of that max buff. I should have pushed off B-Pan right here then because it'll be in two turns. And Gohan only has to get hit once more um, in order to activate his full sort of uh, passive buff from, you know, each attack received. It's just there's there's so much there, right? Like, so many different ways that Gohan has to, to either take damage or be with a certain ally or something in order for him to sort of build all this up, which, again, it's just... It, it, it's a lot. So, what is he at right here? I mean, this is good, right? We have AGL Pan. She's, of course, the 50% support... I mean, he's up to 140k defense now. Obviously, that looks solid, right? Like, you know, if we were in the Legendary Goku event, sure, I guess. And, you know, I guess we do need to consider that with Piccolo on rotation, he is also super effective against all types, huh? Uh, okay, so after he attacks... All right, so let's see. He's at 1.3 million. I mean, that's better. Um, now, he's going to have his full passive active. Boom, there it is. Okay, so that was the last hit we needed. So now he has the full 60% from that part. And then next turn, he's going to have the full 80% from Piccolo being on the team. So he is going to have his full passive active uh, next turn, actually. So, yeah, I want to do this. I want to go ahead and use this exchange mechanic because, I mean, this Goku and Gohan, I don't use them that often, right? So why don't we have a little bit of fun? <laughs> uh, this Gohan still needs a standalone card, by the way. This version of Super Saiyan Gohan, I mean, there's no reason they can't do it, right? And again, you know, I talk about how the um, Android slash Cell Saga... You know, there's all, like, that category needs to be buffed quite a bit. Um, you know, you would think, oh, Android Cell Saga, that team is crazy. But it's like, nah, not really. Like, you know, they need to give us LR Super Vegeta. You know, Trunks needs a Dokkan Fest from the beginning of the Android Saga. We need a better standalone Mecha Frieza and King Cold. We need a bunch of better versions, a lot of the Saiyans. Super Trunks needs a better card. There's just a lot that needs to sort of... Um, go into to, see because these are the teams i really want to see these category like sagas buff those are like my favorite teams right the the namek saga the android slash cell saga you know baby saga i want to see i want to see all these things come to fruition right so okay so now okay now gohan's starting to get good i mean work turn eight i would hope you know with all this passive active he would start to start to look at a little impressive at least and it does seem like he is all right so let's go ahead and see what attacks that he's going to put up. And, I mean, he is super effective against all types as well. 1.43. I mean, I'll take it. Sure. Uh, honestly, it, it probably would have been better if I just left future Gohan on rotation when it comes to um, Gohan's attack set. Right? We would have seen a higher attack set if I had left um, uh, future Gohan on rotation. At least next turn we get LRB Pan. But, I mean, we can see it's not... It's not going to be that much of a difference, right? Like, he's okay. Here, we can give... Uh, we'll have AGL Pan Super Attack right here. So, that's going to give a two-turn attack buff. So, one of those, like, little artificial buffs that I usually hate doing with these units, right? Uh, and then we'll go ahead and pop B Pan's active skill. After this, I'm going to just do a normal run through an event. And we're going to take a look at Gohan. Like, what happens if you just toss Gohan onto, like, a hybrid Saiyan team? But, like, we're not... You know, we don't have a Piccolo around and stuff like that. We're going to see what this Gohan is capable of doing. And I, I don't... It's not going to be pretty, right? Like, in this situation, this setup... Yeah, Gohan's looking great, right? Yeah, so good. But, uh... <laughs> it's not going to look so good again on one of these other teams, so... All right, let's go ahead and pop this. Uh, what are we getting right here? Oh, we're getting a couple links. What is that? All in the Family and the Innocence. That's good. So... All right, let's wait. Did his... Defense drop? Why did his defense drop so much? Oh, he got super. Did he get super? He must have gotten supered earlier from Rose. Did he? He must have, right? He had to have gotten supered from Rose. Because what happens with these enemies that lower defense like that? The the debuff, even if it's not visible right here. See how you got the little symbols right there? Even if it's not visible in the little symbols, 
um, the debuff is still applied. So that's probably what happened right there. All right, so let's go ahead and see what uh, our boy Gohan Chan does. And then again, after this, we'll go into like a different event and sort of see uh, what level of damage uh, Gohan will be doing without Piccolo and, you know, the, everything built. Okay, so he's right at 2 million. I mean, if we would have had future Gohan on rotation instead of Piccolo, I think he probably would have been, uh, been above 2 million. Because uh, remember, future Gohan would have been giving me 30% attack and defensive support buff. So, I mean, that's cool, I guess. But it's, you know, that was 2 million at turn 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn 10. Oh, boy. All right, so we're here on the hybrid Saiyan team. Now, one thing that's immediately going to be an issue, like without Piccolo around, right? Because Piccolo uh, activates that part of Gohan's passive where he gets two key and 20% attack and defense at the start of every turn, right? Well, if you don't have Piccolo around, uh, Gohan's only key link is Demonic Ways and Gaze of Respect. Uh, those are both links. I mean, Gaze of Respect is Gohan and Piccolo. Demonic Ways? That's like Demon King Piccolo, Boo Piccolo, Slug, Mid Junior from the World Tournament. Like, you don't even really have the opportunity to activate that. So, uh, Gohan is very reliant <laughs> on one of these, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Piccolo units to really look good. Okay, so we can get All in the Family right there. 62k defense. Uh, it'll drop down to 53k. So yeah, All in the Family is a pretty good link, by the way. After the link level update, uh, it gives a very, very high amount of defense. So let's see what attack stat Gohan does right here. An amazing 547k. Rainbow. <laughs> With like level 5 links, level 4 links and stuff like that. So, I mean, as we can see, Gohan is just like not super impressive. <laughs> I guess I would say. Unless he's in a very, very, very specific setup and very specific things happen as well, right? Because, you know, not only do you need Piccolo on the team, but you also need Gohan to start getting hit. I mean, Gohan at his max potential, right? Like that turn 10 on the Rosé event where he's super effective against all types of the 2 million attack set and like nearly 150k defense. Like, that's pretty good. Like, that's not, I'm not saying that's bad, but uh, it should be fairly obvious what I'm trying to say here. It's very, very specific and very tough. To get this Gohan to look good, basically. Um, here, I'm going to have to use a shoe item even to get this attack set right here. I mean, the good news is that now we're going to get hit uh, after this. So, Gohan will at least build up a little bit of his passive. Because I am very skeptical that Gohan could take out even this old-ass Final Form Freeze uh, boss right here. Yeah, even with a crit. Okay, well, he got a double super. So, of course, he's going to take him out right here. <laughs> but, yeah, Gohan's not the craziest. I mean, I still do like... The fact that they added this Gohan into the game, I mean, that's definitely something we needed to see, right? Was um, more Saiyan Saga characters be implemented? Because they can't just, I mean, they could just drop the Saiyan Saga, but, like, it's going to work a lot better if they do, like, you know, they release LR Krillin, they did LR Vegeta and Nappa, you know, now we have this Gohan, like, these have all these sort of random characters just sort of being released here and there. You know, eventually maybe we get the Tien and Chaozu EZA. Uh, you know, we get the LR Piccolo EZA. You know, maybe we get like a, a Saiyan Saga Yamcha. We get an awakening for that Chaozu in the Baba Shop. And then before we know it, right, we actually would have a, a decent Saiyan Saga team to run if they drop a dual Dokkan Fest of both uh, Great at Vegeta and Kaioken Goku. And then bam, exactly. We have good team, right? We actually would need... Is there... How many Saiyan Saga Gokus are there? besides like SRs and shit like that. Like I've never thought of that. Like among like just like TURs and LRs, like what Saiyan Saga Gokus are there, right? Let me let me double check this. Okay, so I mean, I think that the TUR for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is on Boo Saga. No, he's not on any saga, but I mean that he that he's the Boo Saga Goku, right? Um there's no, there's none. No TUR Goku from the Saiyan Saga. So they could give us, like, I guess they could do a transforming Kaioken Goku, but it's not like Kaioken Goku has any, like, oh, so crazy strong level units or anything like that, right? So, I mean, they need they could give us a Saiyan Saga Kaioken Goku and normal Goku. I mean, I guess, you know, and then they could do, like, a Goku and Piccolo combo unit from Raditz. I mean, there's a Saiyan Saga could easily be a good team, right? No doubt about that. All right, so Gohan, 53k defense, not really, you know, 500k attack stat, not really doing too much here. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and finish up with this. Again, Gohan is, is okay in the right situations, but as far as World Tournament reward cards, I feel like you're going to get way less use out of this Gohan than you would some other cards, say, like even that BoJack movie Trunks that just came out, Hellfighter 17, the Kalen Khalifla. Obviously, the, the Awakened World Tournament cards are way better, but 
know, even some of the other recent reward cards are better, right? Even the Mecha Freeze is better. Uh, but I am glad they did release this Gohan. I mean, I'm, I'm okay the way he is. He's just not the greatest, right? All right, so this is Harsh Trials, Gohan Kid. His leader skill is Super AGL type key 2 and 70% of stats. Uh, his super attack is the Sword Cut, which does supreme damage and lowers enemy attack. His passive skill, Piccolo's Challenges, gives him 60% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets 2 key and 20% attack and defense at the start of every turn, up to a max of 80% when there is a Piccolo on the team. His attacks become super effective against all types if you have a Piccolo attacking in the same turn. And then Gohan also gets 15% attack and defense with every attack received, up to a max of 60%. His links are the Innocence, Infighter, Demonic Ways, Saiyan Warrior Race, Gaze of Respect, and All in the Family. Uh, I mean, he is going to be an issue for this boy really, really badly without a Piccolo around. That's just how it's going to be, right? Um, his 12 multiplier is 130%. All right, it would be better if it was 140, but I mean, sure, I guess. Um, and then finally, he is on, what, four or five category teams here? Four teams. Uh, so he, of course, is on the Hybrid Saiyan team. Uh, very, very strong team, right? He's gotten a lot of good units, including uh, the big one right there, Tech Ultimate Gohan. Uh, then, of course, he's also over here on the Goku family team, which, you know, gets stronger literally every single update, right? You know, just all types of characters constantly being released for this Goku family team. Uh, then he's also over here on the Youth category team. We definitely need a lot more added to this Youth category team. There's a lot that needs to be added here to make this better, but they could do it. Um, they need to give us, like, an LR, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and all types of stuff like that, right? Um, and then finally, Gohan is on the Bond of Master and Disciple team. This is basically the team you have to use him on, because this is the only team right now that's going to have Piccolos on it as well to use with this Gohan, right? Because um, obviously Piccolo is not on Hybrid Saiyan, Goku Family Youth, none of those teams Piccolo is on. I guess they could do... Well, I mean, if they did a Kid Piccolo unit he probably w it wouldn't activate that ability for gohan i'm sure but they easily could do a kid piccolo at some point um he does get a little bit of screen time right in dragon ball uh we would see i, I doubt it. and add him to the youth it would be cool just to get him on the youth category they might as well right um but yeah this bond of master and disciple team is basically where you have to use gohan um in order for him to look pretty good right so let me know what you guys think of our boy kid gohan uh, he's an okay World Tournament reward card, but it's more so exciting that he's just another Saiyan Saga card added into the game, because there's not a lot there right now. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.